Barrel of Category 2 hurricane right now continuing to move off to the west northwest at 10 rather 18 uh, miles per hour winds of 110 miles an hour certainly a, a potent storm as it makes its way toward the Yucatan Peninsula eventually it'll cross over back into the Gulf of Mexico it may re-strengthen to a Category 1 hurricane before making landfall somewhere near the Mexico Texas border currently we are watching a uh, very summer-like scene unfold here on our ICAM in Old Saybrook. Many people out in boats enjoying the 4th of July. It is dry along the shoreline. Here's our ICAM view in Torrington where the sun has popped back out after some showers passed through Litchfield County. We're still tracking showers right now. Uh, the bulk of the heaviest moving through Tallinn County as we speak. Take a look at uh, some of these downpours that are working their way through the state right now. Uh, these are moving off to the east fairly quickly, but downpours from Vernon to Ellington, Tallinn, Stafford is just pouring, and this will continue moving into Union, too. We just had another heavier burst of rain over stores, and again, those are building south along the 66 corridor. We're keeping an eye on this downpour, too, that's making its way towards, say, Unionville and Farmington. Certainly some very heavy rain underneath this. Maybe a couple rumbles of thunder, but no lightning being picked up just yet. Uh, we do have a first alert in effect for this evening because these scattered showers could impact fireworks, festivals, other outdoor activities. If you have plans to be outdoors this evening, double check to make sure that those events are still going on. On the bright side, first alert future cast actually shows a bit of a lull developing between, say, 530 and 8 o'clock this evening. So perhaps we can uh, squeeze in some of those events before more showers develop overnight tonight. And we will keep some of those around into the start of the day tomorrow. Very easy to see where the rain cooled there is temperatures in the northern half of the state back down into the 70s 81 in Meriden right now 84 at Tweed New Haven the warm spot across the state uh, 79 in Chester and 78 in Willimantic dew points are up it is muggy we are back to oppressive levels of humidity as we begin the weekend Saturday likely the most humid out of the next seven so if you're heading out this evening other than dodging showers we're expecting temperatures to be between say 75 and 80 for the next several hours uh, you may want to keep the you know an umbrella on standby just in case you are going to be outdoors later this evening trying to catch some fireworks tomorrow we're expecting some showers in the morning and then perhaps an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon especially as inland temperatures climb to be back into the 80s first Lord future cast here showing uh, the development of some spotty showers tomorrow afternoon but Saturday morning is really what we're watching here. A more defined line of thunderstorms expected as we begin the day Saturday. And depending on how quickly those clear out, we could see the atmosphere recover, allowing for perhaps more development in the evening on Saturday. A second first alert for morning round of rain and uh, storms with a second round of storms expected in the afternoon, again impacting fireworks and parades. The excessive rainfall outlook for tomorrow night into Saturday morning, highlighting the western part of the state in a level one risk. Underneath those downpours, perhaps some uh, poor drainage flooding, some ponding on the roadways. The greater risk in the afternoon and evening Saturday will be across the New York City metro area and into New Jersey. We are expecting temperatures to be in the 80s uh, tomorrow and Saturday. By Sunday, we're back into the low 90s inland along the shoreline, likely in the 80s. Overnight temperatures in the next several days will be in the 70s. So not much relief even at night. We could have another heat wave on our hands Monday into Tuesday next week. Uh, we'll likely see highs back near or above 90 inland. Maybe an isolated storm next Tuesday. 80s along the shoreline. And Bryant, we certainly trend a bit more unsettled by Wednesday with an other risk for storms.